Okay, let's see if this one comes up a treat. It's very colourful, interesting. So it's not a boring item, colour-wise and all that. There's a squeak again. So I'm wondering if we're going to maybe enlarge it a fair amount. Whoops, no, we don't want that stupid user interface. Totally stupid and impractical. Stupid Conigam and Altar. I think we're going to keep that on zero. I think we're gonna, we don't want it too contrasty. So let's see. Or maybe we'll add a bit of contrast or a fair amount. Now it's stopped. Yep, that horrible squeaky noise. When the machine sort of, I don't know what it does when it's just running like that, getting ready to make a copy, you may be. Actually, we're just going to leave the color balance out. This one's got enough color as it is. So let's see. Oh, I've got a message on my my phone, just a little flag that just popped up in front of me. I hate it when it happens when I'm videoing, <laughs> but it's all right. I do care about the people who who are my friends and fans on Facebook and YouTube. Anyway, that's that's the original. It's actually off a motel room booking that I made to go to Brisbane to shoot some more YouTube slash Facebook videos about my demos. I used public machines. Shit, so terrifying sometimes when you use a public machine because often you're not allowed to video in these places like libraries. <laughs> and there were people around me while I was videoing and I was shitting my pants thinking, fuck, what are they going to do? They're going to stop me. They're going to tell me to stop videoing and then erase, get me to erase my videos. That happened once when I was on a campus, a TAFE campus. I was videoing around TAFE and I was a bit too, um, I made it a bit too obvious that I was videoing and the security guard caught me or a security guard caught me. So he got me to show him the videos or show him the thumbnails and, and erase them. I had to rub them out, so I wasn't running a demo at TAFE, but that's an example of what can go wrong when you're not careful and discreet enough when you're videoing. Yeah, so if you don't, if you're not careful, if you don't keep your wits about you, you could lose lose your videos and that would be like, fuck, tragic. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be upset if I lost my demo video that I took at one of the libraries in Brisbane so or or any of the libraries but the one library was particularly hair raising because it's a, it's a big library and you get the, I think there are security guards there or something but anyway I did make it so I'm really I'm really happy with what I got so I'm really chuffed that I was able to 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 get out of there before getting caught. So I was really happy that I was able to do that. But it's not an easy thing to do when you're making videos in public places. You just got to keep your wits about you. I used to always ask permission, but too many opportunities get lost when you just ask permission because they they'll often say no. And I just can't tolerate that. So I just shoot my fucking videos wherever and whenever. Because I really want to document what what the photocopiers are like as well as my creative process with them. And how I fumble them is another is an interesting one. When I fumble a machine, it shows that it's not good enough. The company that made it, that designed it is shit. Or their processes are shit. So that's not good. We didn't that that's the right size. But we've got to now do some more work on it. So we didn't do that one too well. We're just gonna we're just gonna go in here and we're just gonna darken it. So we didn't we forgot to darken it. Too much chit chat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so let's see, we've got to take the copy density to the middle. And the colour balance, we're just gonna up most I think we're gonna up all the colours. I think the black will probably stay in the middle but we'll soon find out no we're going this way i've made up my mind so we're going to have nice rich blacks as well as vibrant colors so 
I'm just wondering if... No, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to enlarge that one any further. So now we're just going to make this into a four-way mirror image. But yeah, I really, I was really happy with what I videoed and how I got out of getting busted. <laughs> it's easy to get, as I said, it's easy to get busted. <laughs> Let's see how we go with this. This looks really rich. I really love this. So that's a really nice piece. I just hope it doesn't curl too much. Anyway, we're just going to print off the other, the other one. We're making a four-way mirror image. Let's see how we go here. Okay. So that's our second quadrant. So we're just going to move some of the other stuff away while we're working on this one. So we're just going to just at least the sun's not fully shining on this bed yet so i can't seem to get the corners to touch because both of them are curling up there i think we got that there it's not going to be easy to do so let's see we just go in here and make a mirror image out of this so we're just going to scroll our way on this clumsy user interface and we're just going to put that on right and we're going to dial up two copies Hopefully the original size won't detect as something that makes a misprint, but I don't think it will. I think because it's an A4 that we're copying off, it recognises it, so that should be fine. But this is a really nice graphic, as you saw. I think I showed you the graphic. I hope I did. Of, of what we had when I went on, a, went on my trip to Brizzy to do a shoot, or a few shoots. Anyway, we didn't shoot many videos, but it's not the qual quantity, it's the quality. So anyway, these are our two mirror images. As you can see, the curling is quite severe, or it's maybe not quite severe, but maybe you could call it moderate. It just happens to be ha caught to be curling in the middle as well as the edge, as well as the other edges where there's lots of black. So just, just be, be patient with me as I try to overcome the worst of this issue by positioning these nicely but it's not easy sorry about the curling folks but anyway you get an idea that this is a really nice um, image or at least that's what I think anyway what you think well you could think the other way but hey that's just my opinion 